Hi everyone and welcome to day 13 of the fitness challenge. Today we're going to work on some rotation in the core and our actual posture muscles or our rectus spinae in our back. So come on down to your mat. Today's exercise is a spinal twist and saw. So they look kind of easy, but they're actually pretty difficult to do. And so go ahead and sit right on top of those sits bones. So we have a tendency to sort of slouch when we sit. I want you to try and bring your back as straight as possible. So not arching the back, bring the belly in and flatten out the back. Now, if you have very tight hip flexors, this is probably gonna be a little uncomfortable. So you can put a little bend in those feet but I, or those legs, but I still want you to flex your feet. If you can, try to straighten those legs or work your way up to it. Your feet are gonna be as wide as your back. And then just take a look at yourself and make sure that you're not leaning backwards or slouching forward. Pull those shoulders back. So trying to bring those shoulder blades together and sit up right on top of those sit bones. So I always say move the chin feet just a little bit, sit up nice and tall on those sit bones. Excellent. Take those arms out to the side as um, high as your shoulders. So not too much higher and not too low, okay? And then just take a glance once again and make sure that the arms are directly across from each other. Keep in mind that we are moving through the core on this exercise, rotating our spine. So if you see your feet shift at all, you're rotating your hips. So we don't want to do that. Okay, so take those arms out. Sit up nice and tall. Rotate to the left and then pulse for three, two, one. Come back to center. Rotate to the right. Pulse, three, two, one. Good. Continue with this move. And then once again, can you sit up a little taller? Make sure that the arms are staying as much as possible right across from each other. So what I mean by that is let's not bring this arm around as we pulse, because then you can see I start to cave in at the core and the shoulder starts to round forward. So we want to make sure that our arms are directly across from each other. Keep those feet still. Good. Pull up just a little taller. So again, this is not easy to have this straight posture like this. So this is our spine twist or what I call spinal rotation. Use your breath. Good. Now we're going to add on to this. So continue with this move. And then I'll show you how we're going to add on to do our saw. So next time you're on the left, we're going to actually dive forward. So our back arm is stretching behind us. Our front arm is reaching outside of our toes here. And then pulse forward. Three, two, one. Sit it back up. Rotate through center and over to the other side. Dive forward. Reach back. Three, two, one. Sit it up tall and back to center. Good, so this is saw. I just saw my feet move. So make sure that those feet are not moving and then come back up tall every time. So make sure the shoulders are not coming up to the ears, pull them back, pull the belly in and sit up nice and tall. And again, if those hip flexors are saying absolutely no way, it's not a hip flexor move. So you can go ahead and bend those knees just a little bit. Keep those feet still still though. last one, come back to center. Good, go ahead, lower those arms. So like I said, it actually is a lot tougher than it looks. Having great posture is very difficult, but that's one of the things that Pilates really works on is being able to have a strong core, a strong back to sit nice and erect, pulling those shoulders down and back. So you always slide those shoulder blades down your back. Just work on this a couple of times a week and you'll see improvement in your posture and the strength of your back and your core or in no time. So this was day 13. Go get it. Thanks for sticking with it. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow.